In the following demo, we'll look at electric flow through the eyes of a release manager. And I want to show how electric flow makes it easy for them to un get unprecedented insight and control over their releases, how they can easily get started creating powerful release pipelines from templates and adapt and scale with the growing needs of their business. Today, I'm going to log in as Raj. I'm a release manager at Acme Global, which means I'm responsible for managing all the software releases for one of the business units at Acme Global. And that includes multiple product lines with global development, QA, operations teams located throughout the world. And today, I'm interested in two releases. One is the Motorcycle Store release, which is a release for our online web storefront. And the other is our online banking release, which is a major release for some of our banking software components. So we'll see how easy Electric Flow makes it for me to accomplish some of my key tasks as a release manager. So I'll uh, log in as Raj and jump directly into the releases section. And from here, I can quickly and easily see the status of all the releases across my entire organization. I don't have to jump into different instances of Jenkins or check status in different tools or run around getting status from different teams like a chicken with my head cut off. For every release, I can see whether it's in progress or planning, whether the pipeline is running, what stage it's in, whether it's delayed or on track or needs attention like an approval. So off the bat here I can clearly see that the release I'm interested in uh, requires some attention. It's waiting for an approval in the pre-production stage. So I can actually approve this directly here because I'm a member of the release managers group who's authorized to approve this gate. But I want to get some more details on what's going on in the release pipeline before approving. So I can jump directly into the running release pipeline from here to get some more details. Now I'm in the centralized live Kanban view of the pipeline release and immediately I can see all the progress of each stage from dev to QA to pre-prod to production directly from this pipeline view. Now this is important. Uh, I don't want to have to go jumping into different tools to get status or progress or logs. I have everything in one place so that I can be efficient in assessing the state of the release. Now the first thing I notice here is that Electric Flow gives me a quick summary report of each stage. Electric Flow automatically gener generates a summary report with summaries for each tool integration step. So I can easily see the results of, say, the Sonar Cube scan report or the Jenkins build or look at the updated list of JIRA issues. Or perhaps more importantly, I can look at the summary report of the QA stage. I can quickly see the test results summary. I can jump right into the test tool to see more details. I can do that from here. And of course, I can also verify that the application we're testing and releasing is actually live right from this spot. So again, everything I need to evaluate is right here. Electric Flow not only integrates all the tools, but also avoids having to jump into separate tools. Other solutions don't give me this kind of direct insight. And I can also clearly see that Electric Flow is handling all the gating and approval of promotion from one stage to the next. This gives me confidence that we're ensuring quality policies, SLAs, and compliance checks before and after each pipeline stage. Other solutions limit you to doing approval checks as tasks in the stage, but at Acme Global, our compliance requires that approval gates need to be separate. Electric Flow has dedicated entry and exit approval gates so I can use dedicated procedure, track uh, approval gate timings separate from the pipel uh, pipeline stage timings, and ensure compliance business SLAs. And Electric Flow allows uh, automated or manual approvals. Now, lastly, if I want to dr drill down into each of the individuals, individual steps, I can do that too because Electric Flow plugins provide live logs from all my tools. And not just for viewing, but I can actually configure my pipeline to respond in real time to updates uh, from the tools that it's orchestrating. Electric Flow's po uh, powerful set of over 140 intelligent plugins provide all the integrations with the tools my teams know and love. I don't have to do any scripting or complex uh, workflow uh, building, and I don't have to actually convince anyone to use this tool because the plugins just integrate with all the tools that they're already using. No need to change their processes, which makes things totally easy for me. 
Other solutions don't provide this kind of deep live feedback. Okay, so at this point, I'm comfortable approving the promotion of the release from QA to pre-prod. So I'll go ahead and execute the uh, approval. Okay, now that the pipeline is continuing, I can see each step progress in real time. Now, it looks here like after the system integration tests have run, um, that we want someone from the QA team to provide an approval, which is pretty typical, and that's part of our common uh, release pipeline template. But it looks like we're using Electric Flow Slack integration to automatically notify the QA team. So I don't have to remind myself to go ping them, and that makes my life way easier. Electric Flow is built to support chat ops as much as possible with integrations to Slack and other tools, including, of course, good old e email. So the QA team will get a notification in Slack um, and then just click on the approval link and Electric Flow's one-click secure single sign-on will allow them to jump in and execute the approval. So I'll go ahead and do that now. Now, here at Acme Global, we require creating a ServiceNow ticket for major things like pushing to production. So here we're integrating this pipeline with ServiceNow to create a production release ticket so that someone from our IT ops team can approve the push to production. Now in this case, because of role-based access control, I don't actually have permission to approve this. So let's uh, jump into ServiceNow. Again, the summary link makes it easy to navigate right to the tool that uh, we're working with. And of course, the IT ops user would also have received a notification. So I'll just approve this ticket here in ServiceNow. And once we jump back into the pipeline here, I can see that the approval is handled automatically from ServiceNow. So this is an example of an automated approval group. And it looks like it's initiated the push to production. And so a lot of awesome stuff just happened. I have released my software into production. That's great. But now I need to give my boss and possibly our corporate compliance officer some kind of audit report so they know that this release is copacetic. Um, Electric Flow makes that really easy for me with its built-in plugins for creating various audit reports from everything that's been happening in the release pipeline. So for example, I can send a link to this approval audit, which provides a single report of all the approvals that took place in this pipeline, the who, what, and the when. Other audits would be security audits or timing audits and stuff like that. Now, the last thing as a release manager that I want to do is verify that I've released the right software. From this same view, I can jump right into Electric Flow's path to production, and I can see immediately that I've released the right version of software at every stage of the release pipeline. And I can be confident that what we've tested in QA is the same code that we've released into prod. Electric Flow's unified platform means that even if I'm just doing release orchestration, I actually get the application and environment awareness and management for free. No scripting, no coding, no workflows. That's incredibly powerful for me as a release manager. So we saw the rich insight, visibility, and control I get from the live pipeline run for this release here. But that's not the only way to get insightful status. I'd like to actually give my boss a high level status on the overall release readiness of this release. Um, and Electroflow makes that uh, easy for me as well. So from this same integrated view, I can jump in directly into our uh, Electric Flow's release command center. The release command center gives me a release readiness view that's structured to highlight the high level stages of a typical release, planning, dev, build, test, and, and operate. And there's so many things happening in my release, so many tools and processes that it can be really challenging to judge uh, if and when a release really is ready. But with the release command center, I can see critical high-level metrics like how many stories or issues are being resolved, what the build status is, how many outstanding defects are, and what the overall test metrics are. And the command center aggregates data across my whole tool chain. And from here, I can drill down into the individual tools and reports that are generating these metrics.
So I can see here that uh, in this case, actually only 63% of the issues have been resolved for this relief. Um, so even though I just pushed to production, this release isn't really quite complete. So we have more work to do, but I do see that there are a few uh, weeks left and the resolution numbers are trending up. This trending data is roughly over the last uh, two weeks or about a month. So. I, I feel confident uh, to communicate to my boss that this release looks to be on track, that we'll probably have all the features completed by release date, and that no escalation is required at this time. The release command center is one type of dashboard. Uh, I have also need to get visibility often across multiple releases and multiple teams. And I can do that with Electric Flow's powerful uh, DevOps Insight dashboards which give me out-of-the-box uh, dashboards and reports on release trends, CI, CD, apps and environments, and much, much more. So I can see things like release efficiency trending over time, where there may be hidden bottlenecks that I'm not aware of, uh, release throughput across uh, an organization or a group or maybe a set of releases or what percent of time is spent waiting on manual tasks so I can identify exactly where I need to do some optimizations. I even get visibility into CI-CD processes and even dashboards on applications and environments. And I can easily create custom dashboards and reports like this one here which I created to combine build, continuous integration, and some efficient met uh, metrics in one dashboard. Other platforms are really skin deep when it comes to dashboards and reporting and require extensive scripting or professional services for making any customizations. Electric Flow is built on a common reporting platform, so creating powerful custom dashboards and reports is really easy. And again, all the dashboards and reporting uh, is part of the common platform and product, which makes things a lot easier for my, my team. I don't have to buy and configure a separate tool to get all this value. So I hope it's clear how powerful Electric Flow's release orchestration and visibility is. Now, the life of a release manager isn't always about visibility and status, and today I also need to onboard a new release. But I want it to be based on the same pipeline that we saw previously so that I can leverage best practices. Electric Flow makes that incredibly easy. All I need to do is go to the self-service catalog. The self-service catalog is all about end-user adoption. At Acme, we're creating a lot of automation, using a lot of tools and resources like pipelines and environments, and the self-service catalog allows me to expose automation and resources as a service to end-users like developers, QA, uh, DevOps, and IT personnel across the whole organization. Success really is measured in adoption and only Electric Flow provides a self-service consumption approach. So I'm going to select the Create Release from Template self-service item. Electric Flow's unified and model-based approach is built around the concept of release pipeline templates. So I just need to select the release template I want to use, which of course can be customized based on role-based access settings. And I'm going to select the multi-stage release because that's the template that the previous release is based on. Uh, so I'll give it a name and Electric Flow will go ahead and create the new release for me. So using templates allows me to create and promote standardized reusable release pipelines across the entire organization, which promotes best practices and repeatability. So now my release pipeline is created. Uh, I just need to set the target release date, uh, which automatically determines the uh, start date based on the template's uh, release length, which I can also change. And it's that easy. So now all I uh, need to do is specify what application I want to release. You know, other tools say they have release templates, but the ability to populate another application right into that release template without doing any coding is not possible with other tools. 
In fact, this is what makes release templates in Electric Flow true templates. They can be reused to release different software, so different teams can use the same release templates and release different software. Electric Flow is a unified platform, so even if I'm just doing release orchestration, again, I get application and environment awareness for free. No scripting, no coding, no complex workflows. I didn't even have to edit the release. So again, other solutions do not allow this and don't really provide true release templates and the ability to ensure that what you're building and testing is what you're shipping to prod. So now that I've created my new release pipeline, I can easily change the tasks, the gates, and other aspects of the pipeline. For example, if I wanted to add a security scan step to the pipeline, I can easily do that with a tool like Sonotype Nexus IQ. So again, Electric Flow has over 140 plugins. That's nearly three times more than other solutions. It integrates with all the tools my teams know and love, GitHub, Jenkins, Jira, Test Tools, ServiceNow, etc. So I don't have to worry about scripting or coding or creating complex workflows. It's all here with simple to use plugins. At Acme Global, we also uh, version control everything, and uh, our re release pipelines are no exception. And luckily, everything in Electric Flow is totally backed by code. Electric Flow makes it one click easy for users who prefer to work in a pipeline as code environment, like DevOps engineers or architects, uh, to get direct access to the code with one click. Now lastly, the online banking release that I mentioned earlier is an example of a more complex release. As a large enterprise with a lot of product lines and teams located around the world, we often have releases with complex dependencies and hierarchies. Um, Electroflow's release portfolio allows us to create complex hierarchical releases like this one which consists of multiple products being developed and tested by totally different teams. So release portfolio allows me to orchestrate all these dependent releases from different teams and different locations all together in one place. So that's a summary of the day in the life of Raj, the release manager, and how he was able to use Electric Flow to get visibility into the status of all his releases to get deep insight into um, running releases and manage approvals and other tasks and quickly assess the progress and status of a planned release and easily create a new release based on a standard set of release templates. Based on our previous dis discovery call, there's some things that we didn't show like calendaring, planning, um, even deeper topics like deployment automation and environment management and provisioning. We'd be happy to dive into any of those or other topics now or in a follow-up meeting. Thank you.